to a successful assault is good intel. Knowledge of your adversary's strengths, details about the battlefield, and awareness of potential obstacles can mean the difference between victory and annihilation. To get great intelligence, you need to get your eyes on the target. But for the operator who has to execute that mission, it's risky. It takes time and a whole lot of skill. Although they're packed with technology, high-altitude spy planes have their limitations. They need runways to launch from. Without runways, they cannot get into the air and provide the critical tactical information that battlefield commanders want. When you are in combat, you need it right there and then, and you can't wait to call something in for you. And sending soldiers on scouting missions is life-threatening. What's needed is a new kind of future weapon, one that minimizes the risk for the operator in the field. Maybe an unmanned aerial vehicle that can launch from any place and gives you immediate, high-quality, operator-friendly intel. And I think I found the answer at Pax River Naval Air Station, home to the latest unmanned aerial vehicle, or UAV, the MQ-8B, otherwise known as the Fire Scout. Fire Scout was designed and developed to provide a tactical eye in the sky for the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps. It can also pack on enough firepower to support the troops in the heat of battle. The Navy is no stranger to spies in the sky, but the Fire Scout is different because it was designed to take off from anywhere on short notice and can carry crucial new technology. The Fire Scout's going to be the uh, first UAV to enter the Navy fleet in a fully autonomous mode operated from ships. Commander Rob Murphy of the U.S. Navy has been working on the Fire Scout program for the last two years. Having a Navy UAV that can fly on its own is a major breakthrough. When I say autonomous, it isn't autonomous in the uh, sense uh, that people like to believe it is, like a remote-controlled helicopter. The mission plan is loaded into the helicopter before it takes off and uh, with one keystroke, it'll take off and uh, complete the entire mission plan before returning to base. The Fire Scout is smart and doesn't need to be flown from the ground by a joystick. No longer is a pilot required with a large ground support team. Once it's programmed with its mission, just push the button and this UAV flies completely by itself. The joysticks that you see here are not for the air vehicle. They are for the mission payload, which is attached to the air vehicle. Basically, the keyboard and this mouse and these two screens are how we operate the vehicle. Maybe you roger, uh, EC verb and FE verb, right, ready for launch. FE is ready for launch. We launch the vehicle on the route, and it basically autonomously takes off and autonomously flies the entire route as programmed and then comes home and lands on its own. It's an amazing helicopter, but what makes it an incredible spy in the sky is the latest infrared sensors that allow it to relay pictures in real time back to battlefield commanders. It can fly up to 20,000 feet in the sky searching for the enemy's position. But there's more to it than just spying. Not only is it a cool eye in the sky, but it also has teeth. Watch out for this baby's bite. Fire Scout can be fitted with two four-pack rocket launchers firing eight laser-guided rockets in a lethal barrage from the sky. Hey, Navy, I'll be advised. Clear to arm and fire. 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 can give you a bird's eye view of the battlefield, can take off and land on a dime, can fire rockets from as high as 20,000 feet. What's all that give you? The ability to provide close air support. And there's no need to risk a pilot's life. In military terms, the Fire Scout performs the three most demanding missions. Dull, dirty, and dangerous. A lot of reconnaissance missions are hour after hour after hour just waiting for some small change, and that's probably the, the dull. The dangerous, the aircraft doesn't care if it's snowing, if it's raining, whatever. You give it a spot to land, it's going to land there. You could resupply troops, blood, bullets, beans, whatever you need, medical supplies. In the darkest of nights, aircraft will land there, 
troops could get the supplies and go back. The fire scout can perform a whole gamut of missions, from direct action to reconnaissance, even resupply. It's not just a smart weapon, it's a weapon that's gonna save lives.